In another case of the good old-fashioned corporate blame game, we're now told that remote work is to blame for inflation. What? How does the work from anywhere model somehow equal inflation? It just couldn't be that the government has printed money as if there were no consequences. Or that the markets are manipulated. No, it couldn't be that. It must be that those of you who like to work from home are crashing the economy. Shame on you. If a business is losing money? Yep. It must be the same issue, you are not sitting in a cubicle where you can easily be watched all day. The Washington Post is on track to lose money this year after a business slowdown. The paper's publisher and CEO, Fred Ryan, has a different theory, not enough workers are coming into the office. He's been monitoring how many staff members come into the downtown DC office, even requesting records for video calls to measure productivity, finding that they were rarely held on Fridays. He's reportedly incensed that some workers aren't abiding by the company's three days per week in office policy, sources say, telling members of his leadership team there's not enough productivity among numerous low performers in the newsroom who needed to be managed out. Fortune.com Not to be outdone, BlackRock says much the same thing, productivity has dropped, too, which he blames on the amount of remote work since the pandemic. Q2 productivity, unit labor costs were revised up slightly last week, as a result, BlackRock is going to ask our employees to be much more mindful about their responsibilities in the office. We're going to be taking a harder line as to how do we bring our employees back. And we believe this is going to be a key element in bringing down inflation, rising in productivity. Bringing people back into the office and stabilizing productivity could be a great offset, and that could make the Federal Reserve's job to be a little less difficult and it then may lead to a less aggressive Fed, Fink said. Seeking Alpha Someone claiming that remote work exacerbates inflation doesn't make it true. Likewise, someone claiming that remote work leads to decreased productivity is also not automatically true. In fact, studies show that WFH leads to increased employee happiness and productivity. David Powell, President of Protascore said their data showed that if an employee was highly productive in office, they'll be productive at home, if an employee slacked off at the office, they'll do the same at home. After evaluating over 105 million data points from 30,000 US-based Protascore users, we discovered a 5% increase in productivity during the pandemic work from home period, he said. Although, as we know, any variant of the COVID-19 virus is unpredictable, employee productivity is not. Two studies in early 2022 validated the views of remote-slash-hybrid work advocates. Research from OWL Labs found that remote and hybrid employees were 22% happier than workers in an on-site office environment and stayed in their jobs longer. Plus, remote workers had less stress, more focus and were more productive than when they toiled in the office. Working from home led to better work-slash-life balance and was more beneficial for the physical and mental well-being of employees. Forbes.com. Beware of the corporate blame game. They seem to enjoy wagging a finger at the American worker rather than pointing it back at themselves.